What's up everybody? Today is Wednesday, May 4th, 2016. Um, I just got home from work about 45 minutes ago. Um, started defrosting some ground turkey to make some more food. And then I'm gonna go to the gym in a little bit and which might possibly be the next video you'll see after this one. And this is gonna be a quick short video. Uh, has nothing to do with food. Has nothing to do with lifting. Not me just rambling about random stuff. This is more along the lines of, uh, for people who, anyone out there that kind of reads um, more nonfiction stuff. Um, but anyway, I kind of just want to go into a few books that I read that I found were super helpful um, in regards to like um, positivity, taking action. Um, I wouldn't call it like a self-help book, but like a self-improvement kind of thing. Um, People always have something to work on. No one's perfect. Always strive for progress. Always strive for bettering yourself in whatever um, manner you may think it is, whether it's uh, physical, mental, emotional, um, bettering your relationships, whatever it may be. Anyway, these are a few books that I found super helpful. I don't usually ever hold a tripod with my left hand, and I am, anyway. Um, these are a few books that I found super helpful uh, that I thought really kind of stuck out in my mind that kind of, uh, that did, definitely did help me um, with things like that. So I hope this lighting's good. We're going to go with it. If not, you guys want to know something funny? I recorded the video, the whole video already, and I had it on the tripod just set up normally, and I'm just so used to holding it in my hand that I didn't like it. I watched it back and I didn't like it, so I kind of done this once already. But now that I'm holding it in the camera in my hand, it's a little different. Okay, first book we're going to start out with, uh, The Richest Man in Babylon by uh, George S. Clayson. Clason. I'm not entirely sure. Um, one of my favorite books out of the few that I'm going to show you. Super good story behind it. Um, just regarding like wealth and mindset and whatnot. This is a super good book. Highly recommend checking this out. Next one's going to be kind of like a kid's book. Well, it's not really a kid's book, but just a super short book. Super big words or super big print. Easy words. Anyway, super good book. It's called Who Moved My Cheese? Uh, let's see if I can do this one hand. Who Moved My Cheese right there. It's weird that there's no title on there. Um, this is a really good book regarding... Um, things are constantly changing, change with the times, always strive forward kind of thing. That's what I picked up from it. Another good one regarding positivity and whatnot, and I feel like this is one of the books that set everything off, The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Um, it's not that t tough of a book to read. I've read it once. Yeah, I read it once. And I think I like marked a page or something. I don't remember. I thought I marked a page. Yeah, I marked something in here. I'm not entirely sure what it was. It's a really good book. I highly recommend checking it out. It's not super long, and but honestly, like if you're into reading stuff like this, that helps out. Helps improve yourself. I recommend checking it out. Next book. This is gonna be my uh, one of my probably up there, honestly, with the richest man in Babylon is going to be The Science of Getting Rich. And a lot of people might think this is dealing with, oh, it's the Get Rich Quick Scheme. I thought the same thing, but it got super good reviews and a lot of people recommended it. Um, but honestly, it's just about like, not like a Get Rich Quick Scheme, but like how you can bring, how you can not necessarily attract money into your life, because I believe um, just thinking positively and thinking oh, I want to be rich kind of thing is absolutely pointless and meaningless if you don't put in the work behind it and basically that's what this book's about you got to have the mindset but you got to have the work behind it and it's super good and it's a short book and it, honestly it's this is a fantastic book if I could recommend two books for a lot of people to read these two right here y'all need to check these out Super good books. And then there's two other ones that I haven't read yet. That Well, one of them I kind of started, but it's so long that I don't really even consider it starting. Um, Awaken the Giant Within, 
Tony Robbins. I don't remember which his second, third book. I don't remember. But if you guys know Tony Robbins, is a super motivational speaker. Always has a lot of like words of wisdom, really, and it kind of makes you kind of makes you think like, "Hey, I need to get my shit together." Um, and that's what this book is. It really makes you uh, feel like, "Wow, I need to uh, I need to get my life together." And it says how to take immediate control of your mental, emotional, physical, and financial destiny. And I want to show you guys exactly how far I am with this, and I'm not going to BS you. Um, this is my marker right here. Okay. Uh, page 38. I'm not even going to say I was on page 39 because I don't think I was. This book is 500 plus pages long. I have not read in a long time just because when I do read, I'm studying for my personal training stuff, which I'm so behind on and I'm, I'm not going to lie about it. And the last book that I haven't read yet, but a lot of people recommend it. And uh, I've got it because it was on sale like around Christmas time and I haven't even turned a page yet. Um, the Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Don't know what the book's about. Didn't look too far into it, but it's recommended by a lot of successful people. And I think I want to, I think I want to check it out and read it. But anyway, guys, those are just a few books that I feel like if you do read and you are into reading and whatnot, I recommend checking those out. They're fairly cheap. Um, they really kind of help you get a grasp on certain things, uh, puts things into words. You just like, you can, I don't know, it's, it works in my head. But I highly recommend checking those out. Sometimes you need um, something to kind of read and just kind of keep you constantly motivated um, and whatnot. And so I really do recommend checking those out. Super helpful to me. I've noticed a change since I've read them and maybe we can pass that along to other people. Spread the wealth, guys. Spread the wealth. Um, I'm going to cook up some food. I'm going to eat some food. I'm going to get the pre-workouts and stuff done. And then I'm going to go to the gym for possibly the next video you'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.